Welcome everyone, welcome back to another just edition of Jay's Minecraft Exploration. This is for Java Edition 1.16.5. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and just hop to another cabin. I'm not going to explain why. There's really no point. <laughs> so we're just going to... Let's get all these creepers here. I see a bunch of them here. Remember, we're still looking for gunpowder. And we're just going to head off to the next cabin. There's another one up there. We'll grab him too. Oh, I couldn't move fast enough. Okay. Wow, there's more creepers. So today we're going to call this a speed run. And the reason why I'm doing this is I have my reasons. Alright, so we're just going to go ahead and go to the next cabin and we're going to work our way back up to the desert cabin and see if we can get some more uh, netherite. I'd ask if it, how's everybody doing, but <laughs> uh, I don't even get any, I rarely ever get comments on these, so I'm just going to save my breath and just keep going. <laughs> So don't mind me if I just talk here randomly. I'm going to just um, make my way to mine. Oh, let's take those berries. We may need those for portable food. Berries are pretty portable. You can plant them and eat them just like you don't even need to have any farmland. So, I've been playing around with the new snapshot of Minecraft, and there's some things that we're going to have to talk about on this episode thing here. Um, I may uh, wrap this episode up. One of the reasons I'm wrapping it up is because of the update. It may not be compatible with this old world. And two, um, a lot of people just don't watch these anymore, so that's pretty much uh, why I'm gonna, why I'm going to uh, kind of do a speed run here and get back to the desert cabin. Ooh, wild llamas—that's something you don't see every day. Yep. I like playing Minecraft because it makes me feel more like I'm in nature right now. Even though where I'm at, it's pretty much a sandbox, you know. But this right here, uh, going in here, makes it feel like I'm in the back country. So, uh, I'm going to get there real quick and be done. Try to get to that desert cabin or get to a cabin that we haven't really explored or anything like that. So don't worry, I'm going to speed through this as quickly as I can. I'll tell you one thing though, I do miss all the comments. Uh, when I had these on another channel, I would get tons of comments and suggestions and things to do and challenges. It seems like that just doesn't happen anymore on the newer version of, of the uh, YouTube community. Seems like a lot of people don't want to give their opinions anymore on, you know, hey, you know. Ooh, wow, a wild pink sheep. Boy, those are rare. But you're not the star of the show. But you know what I can do. Alright, we're going to do this real quick here. Selfie with the pink sheep. Let me jump up here real quick here. Well... Hey, get out of my way! I'm trying to do a selfie here. The buttons are backwards in this view here. Sorry if this may take too long, but we're on a speed run today, so... I'm 
You don't want a selfie? Okay. Speed run. Let's see here. How do we print screen this? All right. Well, no, I got to turn this off here. Sorry, guys. Um, let me turn that back on there. Some people don't like those, and you know. So anyways, let's get back on to it now. So this is a speed run today. We are going to speed run back with some random stuff here. Um, the goal is to get back to the desert cabin. So let's just do that. And I don't have any wool for bed, so let's hope there's a cabin or something nearby. You could probably tell I've been out here. There's a lot of broken trees. So we'll see what we can find. But yeah, very seldom will you ever see a, a pink sheep in the game. But we saw one. And we all these wild berries in here. Alright. All right, so we should be on top of a cabin. I doubt there's one out here. There should be one right around here, but you notice we don't see any cabins for splatty splatty. I kind of regret sh not sharing those sheep when I had the chance. Plenty of seeds. Today's going to be like a speed run. We're just going to run through it all. And it seems that's, that's what a lot of people want anyways, is more of these massive speed runs. I don't know if I can make it there in an hour, because we're like 7,000, maybe 7,500 blocks. Maybe no more than 8,000 blocks away. Yep, don't see anything out here. Where's the sun at here? Let's see. Bunny, 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 you don't need any carrots. Oh, well, yes. I don't see any uh, cabins. I do see a sheet, though. We're going to need to make a bed real quick anyway, so... Um, I'm going to have to chuck something. You know what I can do is put one of my tools in my offhand and get my shears and fill up my inventory with pointless junk. I don't need the egg. Let me get some more of that dark gray wool. Alright, so now we got stuff for a bed. Now we just got to find a place to park it. <laughs> Means I'll have to uh, use more of my resources up. We got plenty of daylight though. Um, almost like we've been here before. Of course, I've crisscrossed this game millions of times. It's kind of an interesting place for dark. Ooh, wow, look how nasty that looks. And the thing, though, about Minecraft some people don't get is that... Um, I don't know what the terrain is. I know there's a lot of people out there who do YouTube, who do Minecraft, that speed run through all this. They go into Creative or Spectator. And that's not what I do here. <laughs> you know, so... When I turn this on and I say, hey, let's go on an adventure... I don't know what the adventure is going to hold, you know, I just turn these on and... Boy, that is dark in there. Is that a big old room? Yeah, it's just a boring old cave. Alright. Just trying to get around these extreme hills real quick. Although, maybe I should have turned on extreme hills where it requires a beefy computer, you know, and do that. Okay, I don't see any cabins. Almost just tempting to head back to zero. All 
right, let's make a we'll make a crafting table. Drop that. Make a bed. Because we're in a rush today, we want to speed run this. So just got to drop stuff. All right, Rise and Shine, game day two. And what can I dump in here that I don't really necessarily need? Let's get rid of the stone. Usually I don't want to get rid of my stone out here, but, you know, take that, which leaves. I don't want to waste food. Here, we're going to plant this sapling right here. Well, there's no place to even plant this sapling. Here, we'll set that here. Don't want to waste everyone's time building cabins, so we're just going to speed run until we find one. Even if it's half baked. Okay, at least now I got my bed and crafting table. We're a little off. We need to go back a little bit more this way here. I've crisscrossed this a bunch. I should be able to start having some places, at least with a bed. But I was reading up on, on some of the Minecraft blogs. A lot of people carry a bed with them. The basic essential tools and a bed and a crafting table at all times. And I never thought about doing that, but that takes up space out of my inventory. Cut that out of the way, I can't even get through there. Look at all the black sheep I had, you know, you really ever, never, never see those. That's about the pink one. Haven't seen any cabins yet. There's another black sheep right there. Well, mm. I get lucky and I uh, should have stole their cauldron. Sorry it's taken so long. I remember I got to do a speed run and I'm running low on fuel. Well, it looks like we're going to have to do some swimming. Oh, look, a village. Let's go see what they got in there. Probably the usual junk. In fact, that looks like an old village. Those old school ones that were like pre-113 or something like that. Yeah, that looks retro. That's a mountain right there. Let's see here. Yeah, this is the old school village. Yeah, apparently I was here. Take that. Should take that iron sword. Yeah, this is really retro. Yeah, this brings back memories, huh? For those of you guys and gals who've never seen a retro village, that's pretty much what they were. Just a few buildings, and um, that was the that was that. All right, we're gonna have to head over here a little bit. Swim, swim, swim. All you have to worry about in the water is the trident. I have a modded server that you have to worry about sharks. The water is not the trident or the uh, drown with the trident. They're not really much of a problem. Alright, so almost at the zero Z axis. Um, still need to head over here a bit more. We'll go 
over this island here and see. I think I see light down there. Sometimes the game kind of glitches out. No cabins. Uh, so, we need to head back a little bit more this way here. We'll find something eventually. Maybe one on that island there. If we see any creepers, we need to bag those so we can uh, make some TNT and go in the nether. I really would like to get this season, this whole entire series done this year. Get the dragon made, or dragon made, get the, beat the dragon, make some tools. Huh. This is this is just swell, huh? There's nothing out here. May have to head back to the zero axis. Could have be on one of these islands too. I think that might be a sunken ship. Okay. So, let's try these islands right here. Yeah, I see a ship there. But, this is a speed run, not a ship run. Yeah, I don't see any cabins out here at all. So I want to bore everybody building cabins, so we're going to uh, just keep going. That's why we got our sleeping bag. I'm really surprised they have not made a sleeping bag yet. I mean, they got the bed, but I mean, who carries a full type? Who, who carries a full bed with them when they're on a backpacking adventure? I know I, I don't. <laughs> I don't see any cabins out here at all. I see a bee over there. And a beehive. Beehive. What is this all? Is this Bee Island? Looks like there'd be a cabin up there. Matter of fact, this looks pretty darn familiar. Keep going here. Looking for puffs of smoke, but I don't see anything out here really. Okay, so we are going to keep going until we get there. I should punch that bee. <laughs> you guys and gals, I hope you know I'm joking. I don't go out and punch bees. It will not be pretty for me. <laughs> okay, get this going here and we're ready to go. Let's just see how far we can get today before the sun goes down. Oh, look, cool. We're going to have to do more swimming. That's always fun. Alright. There we go. Let's not touch the mouse. We're just going to go straight ahead until we find something. Oh, there's already land off by the pickaxe. 
hope there's more land. I see a sunken ship right there, or part of one. But we're in a speed run. We can't stop and look at those. We got to keep going. In fact, there's not even a place to set my bed down. If I had a sponge, I'd dry that out, seal it up, and put my bed down in there. Well, apparently I was over here. I mean, you just don't see blocks of gravel just floating around in the middle of nowhere. There's some land. We'll just drop that bed down when we get up there really quick unless there's mobs guarding it. Just like in real life, you know, you're out in the middle of nowhere, it gets dark quick. So we need to drop this bed and go. I see a zombie moaner mosing around up there. Oh, I see smoke. So there we are. There's a cabin back over there. It may not have walls around it, but see, that's the whole point about cabins. Ooh, wow. Let those guys fight it out. Oh, this was the two-story house. Remember this one, the fixer-upper. I gotta find a bed now. Oh, wow, really? Sorry, guys, I can't speed this up. I have to go beat mobs. <laughs> Okay. Can I still sleep or is it not going to? Alright, rise and shine for a game day. Um, I don't think we were ever finished with this farm out here, but I'm going to drop off a carrot and a potato. Okay. And for the wheat, we'll leave the wheat here. At least this one's got an inner chest. Uh, let's put those diamonds in there. And then we'll continue on. So we can go that way or we can go this way. Let's go this way. Okay, so we're going to try to get up to... Keep killing things, I guess, huh? That's the beauty of that campfire. Is I would never have known there was something up there. I would have dropped a bed. Ooh, a white pony. How are we doing on daytime? Pretty good. This is the third game day, so we're already halfway done, you know. Hey, I haven't built any cabins. I'm just moseying on right now trying to get to the last desert cabin. So we can start on the... Um, see if we can find more netherite. Make it ancient debris. I'd rather walk on land and swim, but... One thing, though, about summertime coming around is that you get to go swimming. And sometimes swimming, though, it just kind of like, eh. Really surprised Minecraft's not fixed these floating islands yet. Ooh, I thought I wasn't going to make it. I was looking down like, 
Oh man, I hope I make that in time. I don't have feather falling on here. I don't think I do. Just mending. Matter of fact, I don't have any of this stuff now here with ancient debris. I still got to work on a shovel and a sword. Now if we can get infinity, we can make ourselves a bow. And what you do is you just, when we beat the dragon, you know, we're going to have to climb those pillars just to go in there and kill that thing. Now I'm going to probably be honest, I'll probably die in several times. I'll have to keep a tally. Once you go in, you can't get go out, so you can't just knock a tower out and then leave. What I'll do is I'll put scaffolding in there in the nether. Because it'd be easier to use a scaffolding. So you try to climb those pillars to knock out those uh, recharging things. Those recharge crystals, whatever they're called. And that recharges the dragon's battery. We'll have to we'll have to deal with that. Ooh, a ship that's partially out of water. Sorry guys, but I'm gonna go over there and take a look at that. Hey, at least it's not a cabin. We've got a fish here too. Those things sure don't do stealth very well. Oh, they did trap doors in here. Oh, I've already was here, I guess. Okay, we'll keep going. Okay, so there should be a cabin over here somewhere. Kind of straight off a little bit. I needed to start making more campfires and put them at some of these locations. So I know that there's a bed out there. And okay, there's no cabin out here. We're going to keep going. Right, looks like I don't, Oh wow, did a chunk not load up over there? Right over here. I think it was in season one that we had that issue too. Let's go there and take a poke. Poke around there. Could be a glitch too. Since this is like eight episodes, or eight um, re, um, game updates later, obviously there's going to be some problems. But maybe it's not a glitch. I thought that was a cabin back there. I see a tree. Could be a cabin. Wow. This did not render up very well. Yeah. Yep, it sure did not. Just imagine if I were to filter and censor all that, you'd miss that too. Kind of interesting though. Yeah, so I think the most important thing is to start lighting up campfires. Because, like I said, without that thing over there, I would never have known. We saw a tree back up there. There is a tree. 
You said plant trees around cabins. Okay, so we're about 700 blocks away from supposedly another checkpoint. And I do have enough stuff. No, I don't have enough stuff. So I can make another campfire. I do have stuff to make the hay bale. Don't see any cabins yet. I mean, there could be one out here too. I've been thinking about even doing cabins every 500 blocks, but then uh, you'd never get lost if you did that. There has to be a cabin around here somewhere. Going diagonal sometimes is a brute. Of what would happen is you'd end up getting lost that way. I'm just waiting for Mojang to put a like an ice castle in here or something. It'd be really cool. All right. There's got to be a cabin around here. We got 400 blocks to find out. If there is one, great. If not, I'm just going to go ahead and put a campfire, a bed, and a crafting table there and call it a day. Maybe there is one. Maybe it's that ice cabin we were building out here. Huh. Nothing? Alright, so there's no cabin out here yet. to drop a bed here because I don't see anything that's reassuring all right rise and shine this is the fourth game day so I haven't found anything yet no cabin see anything here represents one. Alright, wherever we go, we're, we're going to have to go and uh, keep going here. Ooh. <laughs> I really got to be more careful, huh? Alright. It's hard to walk in a straight line on these things. So it looks like now we're getting somewhere. Um, I'm gonna start punching this grass in here. Oh, there's some seeds. Can't wait for the new update with the uh, powdered snow and stuff. Hide your ladders underneath it. So we are about 600 blocks away from the next checkpoint. So yeah, I'm going to work on a, uh, a mod for, uh, if I ever do a season like this, there will be pre-generated cabins. So they'll have the essential, you don't have to build them. There'll be different cabins for different biomes.
first I gotta learn how to do all that first. Still don't see any cabins yet. But we're only halfway to the next checkpoint, so... Yeah, just going through here right now makes me feel like I'm in the upper Sierras. And just taking a stroll. Oh, look, more water. Isn't that cool? Means I gotta do more swimming. Well, at least we have ourselves some goodies over there, but... I'd say let's go over there and explore that, but I may end up boring someone with it. There we go. This is all we're going to do now, swim. Okay, so we're about maybe a hundred or so blocks away from a cabin. And to be honest, I don't see any cabins anywhere. May have to put one up on top of that hill. Oh, we'll just keep going, I guess, huh? Since this is like a speed run and all. Remember one time we built a cabin on one top of one of these mountains that we see on the on the right here, but I don't remember. Um, just imagine when they add. Oh, and I did confirm the new Minecraft world is 384 blocks from zero to 384, so that's pretty high. I was hoping for 512, but you know. So I think the reason why they're going negative numbers now is because in default Minecraft they kept sea level at 63. Honestly, I would if I were mine if I was Mojang, I would put sea level at zero. I would have done that. Um, if they're readjusting stuff. I'm sure you could write a conversion thing for it, stuff like that, but put the sea level right at zero for the altitude, because that's what we do anyways on in, in real life, you know, altitude is zero, and then you go underground, it's like negative something. And say it can expand both ways. I gotta get over here and see where I'm at. Nice cave with zombies. All right. So I'm almost to negative 5,000 or something like that. I'm getting close to the end here. A bunch of dolphins. Let me get them to speed us up a bit here. There we go. Making some good progress now. Come on, baby, just keep me going here. We're in a rush. Hmm, don't see any cabins yet. We're making good time now, just going through this real quick. Oh, I'm sorry if you hear any background noise. I have my window open. It's like in the 70s right now. Nice and warm. Toasty. Alright. Okay. Alright, so we're only like 100 blocks away. And we may have to go left. Because I don't see any land right now. So that's kind of scary. Hopefully the desert cabin's back over there. I don't see any land. So what I'm going to do now is slowly turn. Because I don't see anything out here. I 
uh, start turning. All right, so now we're at 5,000. Now what I want to focus on now is going this way. And we're getting close. And you can tell this is old Minecraft because you really don't see anything down there. You can see what places I've explored and which places I have not. So this is what's taken so long in this ep this series, this whole series, because these are all different versions of Minecraft. This. Remember, we were we were in the desert cabin, right? Well, guess what this is. We'll be at the desert cabin by the end of the next game day. Hopefully, we'll have enough time to really uh, go down there and drop some TNT. Just let it loose. You know, that land looks so close, and you can see how fast we're swimming in block-wise. It just seems like it's taking forever to get there. Thing about redoing some of my uh, layout on here, too. I've been reading up on how to redo my uh, Minecraft uh, heads-up bar. or heads up display, whatever it's called. And uh, I want to do is I want to put, I want to condense this down. I'm thinking about putting everything in the corners. Although I've kind of gotten used to where it's at now, but. I see a village there. I see a church. Alright, so we're getting close. I'm on the right axis now. I'm going to have to place a bed down here in a second. Alright, rise and shine. This is going to be the last day, game day. Oh, look, I see a cabin right there. You see that smoke? If I would have saw that, I would have ran right to it. But, hey, you know what? This is why I did this. Exactly why we got cabins out here. When I write up my uh, data pack, I'm going to do that too as well. Yeah, remember this cabin right here. This one just needs a roof. Oh yeah, let's see here. I only got one potato. Let's put a piece. Let's put a carrot in here, and we'll put one seed in here. I don't know what else we need in here. We're gonna go ahead and do the next cab. We're gonna make our way over there. So it's another uh, probably five minutes. Wait, hold on. Well, wait a minute. You know what? We're not going to quite make it there. So what we're going to do is we're going to see what's in here right now. So I'm sorry we have to stop at a cabin. At least this one's built, kind of. And... Hey, maybe we have a farm down here. Remember, we still got to finish up all of those other houses, too. Alright, what was the point of that for, huh? Huh. Well, I can go down further. 
don't have any more ladders, so I'll have to get some more sticks and stuff. So, yeah, we'll start. This one doesn't even have a farm. Like, nothing. This has no farm, unless it's above ground. I think I may have saw one, but usually I put them underground. Not even a portal out here. So we're going to have to put a portal room and a farm. I think I was mining for diamonds or something down there. So we're going to have to poke around, huh? Let's put that in there. And... Yeah. Let's, uh, let's do it. Do we, have a, do we have a spruce tree out here growing or no? Oh, there's the farm. No spruce tree? Oh, what a pity. Now we do. All right. So I've only got a wheat farm. Um, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Let's put these arrows in here. I'm going to go ahead and... Do we have any bamboo? I should have grabbed some when I had the chance. Um, we're just going to go ahead and make some sticks then. And I'm just going to make a set of ladders to go down to... We're at 11, right? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. So I'm going to need a couple more ladders. Okay. So we're going to have to work on a farm. I know some of you don't want to see those, but we're going to get done with the farm down here now. Um, this is last game day. Um, haven't put a portal down here, so we may do that and see what it's like and see if, we, if it's new territory or not. Oh, well, well, well now. Remember that's 11, 10, 9, 8. Seven. And this would be six. Alright, so let's start making our room now. And we will start the portal room in the next episode. Maybe this might be our good cabin we can hit. There we go. Clean that right out. Right, let's see here. Um, let's start working on our carrot farm here in a second. Just need to uh, clean this out a bit more here. Oh, okay. I was like, what the heck was that about, huh? Because we're still 2,000 blocks away. I could have made it to another cabin, but... Alright, so... I need to get some dirt. We'll start our... Uh... Alright, we're out, we're overflowed, of course. Let me grab this. Put that there. I'll have to go up and uh, unload. Uh, we got plenty of time. I don't even think there's any lava. I think we had to travel to a lava pit to get it. It was probably wiped over branched out. Well, we're going to have to put a portal in here. I'd like to see if there's anything out here. Or there should be. So, no exciting stuff today. Sorry. I should put all that stuff in here, huh? See, I can make some TNT. Matter of fact, um, we already did that selfie. I guess we could do another one here. 
back to one of my desert cabins. I don't know what this one here would be called. I don't know. I don't remember the name of this one here. Sandstone. I don't know. I have to look at my uh, notes. One more here. As you can see, let's get that packed. There we go. Keep going as fast as we can. We're going to make a farm. At least there's some dirt down there. Gravel, huh? I'm already overflowed. Someday I gotta get a backpack installed on here. Let's see here. Let's see some, uh, should just get rid of the stone nail, huh? Ooh. Let's just go back up then. And uh, how are we doing on time? It's already getting night time. So today we speed ran back to this cabin. I don't know the name of it. I'll have to look it up in my notes. Um, I know it's a, I know it's a, kind of like a semi-desert cabin, a cabin on the prairie or something. Hey, at least I didn't build a cabin this time. At least we have the, the uh, smoky campfire, so we know. Um, you know, I got these berries. Okay. Yeah, we're going to need to fix this thing up. This is kind of like, this is really pathetic. We were mining in here for sandstone. All right. So what we're going to do is the next episode, we're going to hang out here. And what we're going to do is um, see if we can fire up a portal real quick. OK, let me go back down there and get, grab some more stuff. But we're going to see if we can make this into a portal down here, fire it up, and see what's in here. And if it's a place that we haven't explored yet, I'm going to let loose, because I've already got uh, two gunpowder, so I can make two TNT blocks. be kind of cool to, uh, To really kind of get this going down here. So let me get in here real quick. Now what usually put the portal room there. We're going to put the portal room on this side here. Okay. Okay. Let's get this. Wrap around the whole thing. And we're going to get rid of our inventory here out of this. So the next episode, that's what we're going to do. We're going to see if we can fire up a portal room down here. I know I broke a law and used a pickaxe to break a wooden ladder, but, you know, hey. You got to live life on the edge. All right, let's strip mine some more down here. Um, hey, at least I'm using the shovel this time. And that's it, I'm overflowed. Let's go and see if we can max everything out here. Hearing those skeletons is not reassuring. And since we're going in the nether, I'm going to make sure I grab as much gravel as I can. Probably filling up on that one, 50.
Hmm. Something can just drop down here and blow me up. 57, 8, 9, 60. 1, 2, 3, 4, we're done. So once we get the farm down here in our portal, we're going to see if this is a new area. If it is, we're going to go right here. So, I don't know the title of this one yet, but I, it has something to do with this cabin. This is where we're going to stop, hang out here, and we're going to work and see if we can connect this one up to the other cabin. In the nether, it's only 250 blocks around that away. I hear a creeper. All right. Maybe I'll we'll have to do some night hunting. But that's it, everyone. Take care. Good night. See you in the next episode. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already done so.